Hello everyone, it's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. A new skill lock system is coming. You will soon be able to pick a specific skill you want to level up for any legendary commander. No more RNG with the skill system. Uh, no more punishment for beginner, newbie players. With this awesome change coming, I think it's time for me to go over the list of all legendary commanders and tell you guys the legendary commander skill leveling order, the priority order to expertise the commander, and go over the commander ratings. Uh, I hope you will find this information useful and can help you plan out on which commanders you want to focus on. Uh, for today's videos, I will be going over all infantry legendary commanders. Uh, there will be more video coming for cavalry, archer, and leadership commanders. So let's go right into the spreadsheet that I have uh, spent quite a lot of time preparing for you guys here. Um, so here we go. Uh, let's see here. So, okay, first of all, uh, you might ask, why don't you want to focus on just one commander and expertise him or her and instead you want to um like focus on more than one two or three commander at at the time uh because like a lot of people recommend people to like hey just focus on one legendary commanders and just get him expertise before you go into the next one but in my opinion in my opinions uh it's much much it's a lot it's much more beneficial for you to focus on two or three solid commanders and just don't go and expertise one commander right away. So here I will tell you uh, the benefit of like not focusing on just one commander and expertise at one commander. Uh, at number one, we have the cost of leveling a commander's last four or five skill is extremely high. Uh, like the last the last four skill cost you about I think around three two hundred golden sculpture. Uh, that a lot. And it takes, like, you could use that 200 golden sculpture to leveling up another commanders or even two commanders. Um, two, uh, ask yourself, like, are you going to be using one commander for fighting? No, right? Like, unless you are going to be like a rally leader or garrison captain, then maybe you should be focusing on one commanders. But, like, if you are going to be like using three or four marches on the open field, especially for beginner like one one commander is not gonna help you i think um having multiple solid commander with uh minimal requirements will definitely help you perform much much better on the open field fighting uh number three is the opportunity cost uh is the benefit you get from expertising a commander going to like be outweighed the benefit of you making other commander uh stronger so let's say instead of you, let's say you, it, instead of you like focusing on expertise on the richer, uh, you could use that like 300 golden sculpture to get to work on another commanders here, which is Alex. So now you can use two strong marches on the open field instead of just one. Uh, the benefit, like what, what do you think? Like is it, is it better for you to focusing on one commander? Maybe if you if you are more into like hey one versus one situation. But like not many people are doing one versus one, right? Like it's all about KVK and fighting. And in KVK, it's all about that mass open field fighting. And sometimes you definitely want to bring more than one marches. So like focusing on just one commander is usually not like pay you off very well. So uh, here, is, here is a list of commander, like all infantry commander for today's video. Um, I've, I've used most of the commander in here except for Zenobia. Uh, Zenobia is a garrison commander, but I do have uh, some like experience with her from like, watching other player and looking some of the other report. Other than that, like all the infantry commander here, I have uh, used them all. So this is definitely based on my personal experience. Uh, you, some other people might have a different uh, opinion or different experience with using the commanders, but uh, this is based on my personal experience here. Uh, so on the on this side here, I have a commander rating. Uh, keep in mind that like the rating for the commander here are based on expertise commander and not like commanders that are uh, not expertise or like minimal requirement. So that is something for you to keep in mind. So like why do I want to adding a commander rating here? Uh, 
So I would say like depend on what you're focusing on. Let's say if you're focusing on like uh, open field fighting, then you might want to focusing on some of the commanders that have a pretty decent or a very very good like open field rating. Uh, so that you can decide on like which commander you want to focus working on first. So I have uh, some like open field rating for KB KCN one, CN two. Uh, open field rating overall. I got rally rating for KVK, rally rating for Ark of Osiris, a garrison rating for KVK, and garrison rating for Ark of Osiris here. So in a two, four, six, six different criteria here. So let's go on to the first commander here, which is Richer. Richer the first. So for the skill order recommendation, I recommend you to go from 5111 to 5511 to 5551. And here I also have another column for expertise priority. Uh, expertise in Richard is very, very low. I would say low. Uh, why? So let's go back into the game and take a look at his uh, expertise skill. Uh, so what do you get from expertise in Richard? Um, so... For expertise in Richer, you will get that extra 5% damage reduction, and that is probably pretty much it. Um, you get more than 2% deal more damage to carry, but that's not a lot, especially for like a very low DPS commander like Richer. Uh, every 10 seconds, the target mire speed reduced by 50% for 5 seconds. It can help as well, but regardless, uh, Richer is Richer marches is still gonna be very very slow. Like the slow debuff, the slow debuff is very nice, but. Uh, if you ask me, can it help you fight more effectively early on? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. Uh, and like the the four skill giving him more heal. Like he already have a whole bunch of healing already, so it 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 doesn't it doesn't affect him very very much. So that is the reason why like I say it hits uh hits the expertise, uh priority for him is pretty low. Uh, let's go back here. So expertise priority is low, and his main role is tank. So he's have very very high skill damage, uh, very very high damage reduction, very good defense, and very very high damage debuff as well, which is very good. Uh, for rating for open field rating for season one, season two, he's definitely S plus ranking for me. Uh, for overall rating for open field rating for a little KVK when there are like more commanders. Uh, so like in KVK season three, like. All the commanders are gonna be available, so that is why I didn't put CN3 here. Like anything from the CN3 and after, uh, all the commanders gonna be available. So like he's lose out a little bit on his effectiveness, like after KVK CN1 and CN2, but he's still a very very solid commander on the open field. So open field rating for him overall is A. A very very rating for KVK is D because he's very very low DPS. Definitely not recommended for using him to for rallying. Uh, rally ring in Ark of Osiris in never like never don't don't ever use him for rallying in Ark of uh, Ark of Osiris, uh because you want to take the the building fast right in uh, Ark of Osiris you don't want to to run into rallies that last forever, so definitely do not use him like I I put a never for a reason, a uh, garrison rating uh I would say give him a B garrison ring a lot of people don't want to use him for garrison because he has a healing skill that can bring back. Like so slightly severe severe on the troops, which gave you more death. But he's, I would say that is the only downside for using him. Like he's still a pretty solid aggression commander. If your kingdoms, uh, don't have him, I mean, if your kingdom doesn't have any strong garrison commanders, like definitely definitely viable commanders. Like I wouldn't mind using him, to be honest. Like he he he's, he's solid. Um, uh, for garrison ring in Ark of Osiris, uh, I gave him an A rating. Uh, very very solid with his heal damage reduction like in uh, Ark of Osiris you definitely want to slow down on the enemy rally so he can buy you more time for reinforcing the structure so definitely an A rating for me for him for garrisoning in Ark of Osiris definitely not as strong as some of the new meta commander but he can get the work done if you know how to use him well so that is Richard uh, next one we have uh, is Alex uh, for Alex skill or order recommendation, I recommend you to go from 5111 to 5151 and then 5551 and then expertise. Um, so why do you want to go to the third skill instead of the second skill? Uh, because the third skill gave you 
like more stat boost plus march speed bonus which is very very much needed for infantry uh like even the second skill at level one can deal pretty high damage already so you don't really need to focus on it early but definitely need to focus on the second skill uh the third skill before the second skill uh for expertise priority uh i put him as high um so why is Alex have a high priority for expertise? Uh, because if you look at Alex's expertise skill, um, he can debuff up to uh, four targets nearby, and those targets got to take extra 30% damage increase, which is a lot. And it can work very, very well in mass PvP, as well as for rallying as well. So very, very strong expertise skill. Another thing about Alex is that like all of his skill can work very well on the open field. Uh, none of his skill are none of his skill is for garrison or rallying. So like all of his four skill for his four main skill can be used on the open field. So definitely try to level them all up and uh, get him to expertise. So one of the commanders that I strongly recommend to expertise is Alex. Uh. So his role, so Alex is a single DPS plus support because he his second skill can deal very very high a single target uh, damage and plus his uh, debuff can work for up to four targets makes those four targets uh getting that extra thirty percent damage increase so very very good single DPS and support commanders uh open field rating in season one and season two I would say S plus uh, for him definitely a very very solid commanders. And open, open field ring overall in later KVK, I definitely give him an S rank there. A very, very solid, good DPS, and plus very, very good support for your Kingdom Alliance. Um, for Rally ring for KVK, uh, I, I'll give him an A rating. Uh, can, he can use for uh, rallies, um, like in Season 2, Season 1, Season 2, you can definitely use Alec and Charm Mattel for rallying. Uh, in later KVK, you can use Alex YSG or Grand U Alex. Uh, the choice are there. He viable for rally. A uh, rally ring in the Ark of Cyrus. He definitely, I would definitely give him an A, a ring as well with his very with his high skill single DPS damage plus good support, and pretty tanky as well. A uh, garrison ring is never for both. Uh, one of Alex's skill doesn't work when he is inside the structure or inside resource node. So hit four skill require him to be on the field on the map. So it doesn't work. So definitely do not use him in for garrison. Um, so never there. Uh, next commander we got go over is Charm Mattel, one of my favorite commander. Like by far one of my favorite commander. I I use him a lot. Uh, so for the skill order for Charm Mattel, I would definitely say 5111 and then 5511 and then 5515. Uh, with the skill lock system, you can definitely make it happen. Uh, you can target a speci specific skill you want to level. Uh, expertise priority for Charm Mattel, I would put him as medium. Uh, like you don't really need him to be expertise like early on in early KVK, but uh, like you definitely want him to be expertise for like later KVK because you definitely want to utilize on his march speed bonus. As well, if you can like expertise him, he can be used for garrison as well. Uh, his main role is tank. Uh, so open field scene one and scene two, I would definitely give him an S plus uh, rating there. A uh, very very solid. Uh, for open field rating for a later KVK uh, or for later KVK, I would give him like A plus rating. A rally rating, a rally rating for KVK. I would give him a B rating. Uh, he can be used with like Alex, but like his 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 use for KVK rallying is very limited. Uh, you can definitely use him in KVK CN one or CN two for rallying if you don't have a better options. Uh, for rally ring in in Ark of Cyrus, I give him a D. Or I probably don't even try to use him for rally. Uh, definitely not recommended. Uh, Garrison rating uh, for KVK definitely an A. Uh, he can use with a lot of like commanders. KVK season one, season two, Charm Mattel and YSG doing extremely well. Uh, for later KVK season three, season four, you can definitely use Charm Mattel with like Constantine and even Charm Mattel with YSG still work very well in later KVK as well, as long as you get enough reinforcement. 
So Gerson Wing, definitely A. Uh, Gerson Wing for Ark of Osiris, definitely A or A, or a minus. Uh, not as effective as some other commander, I would say. But uh, definitely usable, viable, especially if your lands do not have a very, very like old immigrants or like people with strong garrison commander, like some of the major garrison commander. Like he is usable. Like he's not that weak. Uh, next commander we are talking about is Constantine. So Constantine is one of the commanders that are very, very. I would say one of the very, very good investment for infantry player. Uh, you can get him to like five one on one and then five five one one. And I think after this, you can, act, you can definitely take take your time with him. Like you don't you don't have to like level him up right away. So if you want to like work more on him, you can definitely get him to five five one five. And if you want to like perform a little bit better in Sunset Canyon, or if you want to use him for garrison, you can definitely expertise in him. Uh, for expertise, a uh, priority. Uh, I definitely gave him a medium priority there. Uh, role his main role is support. And slash garrison as well. Oh, we update it here. Uh, so open field rating in scene one and scene two, I would definitely give him an S. Uh, rating very very good support on the on the open field if he, if you use him with uh, Constantine. I mean with Joan of Arc. Uh, for open field rating, uh, for layer KVK, definitely give him an A rating there. Like, even though his DPS is very, very low, but his support skill is very, very much needed for any any group fight or any mass fighting. So definitely A rating there. A right ring in KVK, never. A right ring in Ark of Osiris, never there. Like, his DPS is extremely, extremely low. And he doesn't work very well against single targets. So definitely do not use him for rally. A garrison rating, uh, A plus there. So they are feel slightly better than uh slightly better than uh Chom Uh Garrison Ring for Arc of Arc of I also gave him an A plus ring as well. Uh solid, solid garrison uh commanders. Uh next one we have is Guan Yu. Uh so Guan Yu is by far one of the best and cheapest investment for any infantry player. Uh even at five one on one, he can perform extremely well. Already, and now with the skill lock system coming, uh, you can def definitely get him to fight one on one and then fight one, fight one. You want to skip his second skill, which had to do with uh, rallying, and then get him to fight one, fight five. You want to work, work more on him. Uh, his expertise priority is low, uh, because if you go back to the game again and let's look at uh, Guan Yu here, uh, his expertise. Doesn't give you a lot, so like his skill damage can increase by fifteen percent for three seconds if he gain a shield. So like this is very conditional. Like even if it's like a permanent, it's it not even that good anyway. So like for you to gain a shield, you have to gain a shield right before you about to cast a skill. Like if you gain a shield after you casting a skill, then this skill doesn't work. And like. You also get that 100% increased march speed after you leaving the structure, which is I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it is critical. Um, to be honest, unless you want to do some like crazy, like high march speed, uh, command uh infantry marches or something, and like I would say his his expertise is very very weak, very very weak expertise, and to be honest, it is really not worth it for you to. Investing on like 200 golden sculpture on him just to get the expertise skill uh, Unless you don't have anything else to work on then yes, you can invest on him Like if if I know the skill system was coming I would definitely not get him to expertise to be honest with you guys I could have I could have saved this, the golden sculpture for some other commander uh, So that is the reason because his expertise skill is very very weak and one of his other skill uh, is not needed for uh, open field fighting. Uh, so let's go back to here. So skill order recommendation, expertise priority is low. Uh, the role is he is a AOE DPS and also a debuffer as well with the three second silent, but mostly the AOE DPS, very, very high AOE skill damage. Uh, open field ring for scene one, scene two is not applicable. Uh, open field ring overall is definitely S plus here. 
very very high AOE skill damage plus silent effect very work can work very very well in mass PvP a right ring for KVK definitely an A plus uh, we see a lot of like people using him with like Grand Yu Alex Grand Yu Hurrell a very very effective rally pairings there uh, you see quite a lot of them being used in KVK so definitely an A plus uh, ring for rally uh, right ring for a for Ark of Osiris also a plus a uh, pretty effective ra rally uh, leader there in uh, Ark of Osiris. Uh, you can take down the the building pretty quickly with him as well because of his very high DPS there. Uh, garrison rating, uh, I would say B. A uh, garrison rating for Ark of Osiris is also B. Uh, like definitely not recommended, but like if you don't have any, if you don't have any other commander inside the building that. Let's say sometime like you see people running out of the the building and then your garrison captain or your garrison captain die, well and and if you don't have any other option, I would definitely go for him because all of his skill work like three of his skill working uh in the structure, which is good enough. So definitely a B like he's definitely not like I would say I would say he definitely not like useless in 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 a structure. He can be used, but if there are better choice like other garrison commander inside you definitely want to use other garrison commander and not him uh next commander is leo uh so for leo a skill order recommendation is 5111 to 5511 and then to 5515 uh, his expertise priority is very low so why is his expertise priority is very low so let's go and take a look at him um uh, so, Leo expertise when troop led by the commander are reduced to 10% of unit remaining. Troop deal 400% increased damage and take 50% less damage for 10 seconds. Uh, this effect can only trigger once per hour after leaving your sea. So, like this effect only work when you like at 10%. Like when you at 10% HP, you pretty much gonna die. You probably won't be able to survive for more than two three seconds, especially in case you're getting swarmed. Uh, it might work in case of like a one v one fighting, but like I I would like I can definitely live without this skill here. Like, I don't need this skill. And one of his other skill, his third skill, only trigger when his march is, is below fifty percent. So like for me, especially like for like, a smart players, when it comes to the like, open field fighting, you definitely want to refresh your march before it go down to fifty percent. Or like right, or like very very quickly after it go below fifty percent. So like on the open field, like you're not gonna be able to use hit touch skill. So like this is definitely not needed. Uh, so it's it's that is the reason why uh I recommend you guys to um to go with him as at at the last one is five five one five. You definitely want to skip that touch skill. A uh, very very low expertise priority order for him. So only only expertise him if you have to, like if you have to. Oh, let's go back to the game again. Um, so right now I have him at five five four two, right? So like when when the skill lock system coming, they gonna give us some like skill reset as well. So I definitely want to reset him so that make him five 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 one. Perfect. Hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna get a skill reset. Uh, so he is my number one commander on the list for me to reset here. I definitely want to reset him. Uh, so let's go to the next commander. Uh, next commander we have is Hurao. Uh, so for the skill order recommendation for him, uh, I recommend you guys to go from 5111 to 5151 and then 5155. Uh, hit sex. Hit second skill has to do with um like rallying, so you definitely don't want don't want that skill. Uh, his expertise priority is medium. Uh, because I think his expertise skill is pretty. I would say pretty good. He has pretty good expertise skill. So let's go and take a look at him too. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh, expertise skill for her route. Uh, expertise skill gave counter attack damage dealt on the map 
increased by 20%, which is pretty decent. And if surrounded, counter attack damage, they will further increase by the number of surrounding enemy times 2%. So like, I would say pretty high, pretty high counter attack damage increase for the expertise skill. I think that's the reason why I put him as medium uh, expertise priority order. Because his expertise is pretty solid. Um, go back here. Uh, so his role is a single AoE DPS. Uh, open field rating season 1, season 2 is not applicable. Uh, open field rating overall is A. Uh, like he's conditional. Like the only reason he's not higher than A because his, his AoE his, uh, his active skill is cannot you cannot cast his active skill as an AoE skill unless you get swarm, which is doesn't work all the time. Uh, doesn't work most of the time in in mass open field from what I'm seeing from my experience using him. A uh, right rating in KVK definitely A, uh, or could be A plus I would say. Uh, right rating in Ark of Osiris can be A or A plus as well. So let's put it A slash A plus here. Uh, a tough, a tough choice. A slash A plus. Uh, depend. Oh. A plus. Okay. Uh, for Garrison ring never. Uh, never use him for garrison because one of his skill, his four skill, require him to be on the map. So his four skill doesn't work when you are inside the structure. Uh, so like if you use him, if you use him for garrison, uh, his four skill doesn't work, and his set skin skill only um only work when you rallying a structure or a stronghold. So if you're using him for garrison, only hit first and hit uh, third skill working. So definitely, I'll, I'll never, never, ever use him for garrison. Uh, last one we have is Zenobia. So for Zenobia, uh, skill auto recommendation, like she is not good for open field. Uh, you should only be getting her if you want her for, if you want to be like a garrison captain. So that is why I didn't put the recommendation order for her. Here's the skill. Uh, expertise order is high because like the only time you want her, the only time you want to work on her is when you want to be like, a garrison captain, and then you definitely want to expertise her. So you got you want to go all the way. You got to go all the way to expertise her. And why do you need why do you need her to be expertise? Because she she gonna be so much more effective when you got her active skill like her expertise skill unlock. Because with her expertise skill unlock, you can get that like um skill damage increase health bonus as well so like it, it's a crazy crazy stat boost there you get when you got her expertise that is why she is a high expertise commander if only if you like a garrison captain uh, so open field ring scene 1 scene 2 is not applicable open field ring over over all you see uh, she definitely not meant to use on the open field uh, right ring and KVK never never so like two or three of her skill are strictly using for garrison only so definitely do not use her for guys uh, for rallying uh, garrison ring she had S rank for both uh, KVK and Ark of Osiris here so very very solid garrison uh, commander uh, and that is probably why you want to to get her um, so like I hope I hope that you guys can be can look at this list here. Like I will be putting this link for the spreadsheet in the description video description as well. Uh, you can definitely go over this list again in your own time. Uh, go to the rating here, and de depend like decide on what you need. Like let's say if you want to be more like focus on open field for infantry, then you definitely want to look at the rating for open field, right? Open field rating scene one and scene two, and see like which commander have a a better like rating and you want you definitely want to focus working on the commander first and you definitely want to go go to the list of like skill ordering here and the expertise a uh, priority order here to see if you need to expertise the command or not and you can follow my advice or you you don't have to if you have a lot of golden sculpture you can expertise all of the commander if you want uh so yeah like like if I am one of you guys right now, just like starting the game, you definitely want to go to the ring. First of all, you want to go to the ring here. Uh, if you like a free to play player, I definitely recommend you to go to look to the ring for the open field only. 
if you like low spender or like medium or high spender you can definitely focusing more on garrison or rally so that is up to you guys but definitely want you definitely want to look at the rating first before you start working on any commander here so you know uh what you want uh, i don't put like a rating for like one versus one here because i for one i do not do a testing for one versus one and i don't care about one versus one so that is the reason why so i will be putting the link for this spreadsheet in the um, in the comment section and uh thanks again for watching the video guys